the need to progress the Barrow uh, Blue Way through County Kildare with the Hayden. Uh, Kion Korla, and I thank the Minister for taking this very important uh, issue today um, regarding the need for us to progress the Barrow Blue Way. Um, Minister, you will be aware of my keen interest in progression of the, the Blue Way through County Kildare, it's something I have raised with you and your officials on a number of occasions in the past. I think it is very clear what option we would like in Kildare, uh, and I would very much agree with Kildare County Council that we would like to see option two developed, um, and you know, that we would be in a position that the Kildare element that we have planning permission for that is ready to go that uh, could be considered as part of as the next round of the Greenway strategy uh, funding for that element. I think the, the cost for the entire Barrow Blue Way down to St Mullins and Carlow had been costed at around £11 million. Um, obviously, to do, uh, that's the 115 kilometres. To do just 50 kilometres in Kildare would be significantly less, um, but the economic return for our area would be really, really significant. In a tie, you know, we have a, a canoe loop already around with Vickerstown, so the ability for people to cycle, to walk, to trek, and then to canoe as well. Uh, will be part of that. And, um, you know, a tie is a very unique town, Minister, uh, situated on the banks of both the Grand Canal and the R River Barrow, bet uh, between its famous Tri Atai event, uh, the Dragon Boat Racing, Canoe Club, and uh, very ambitious plans for a new water sports hub. It has embraced water sports and tourism potential uh, that can be offered to the town. And, um, this, this investment you know, would see a huge shot in the arm for Thai. In, in Monastrevin, it is known as uh, the Venice of Ireland, and along with Ratangan, uh, these are towns in rural parts of South Kildare where we do not have enough economic activity, and tourism is a key um, option there that would link us directly with Dublin, the Dublin tourist market, um, and where visitors come in, really would be a very exciting opportunity for businesses and individuals to consider setting up cafes and all the different um, uh, spin-off industry that comes from this. I know with my family on a recent holiday a couple of years ago, uh, at this stage now, uh, over in uh, Mayo, um, uh, cycling out from Ackill uh, along um, the Greenway there, all of the different businesses that had sprung up that hadn't existed before, and the same in Waterford. And I do say to you, Waterford, with 250,000 uh, visitors, is just 46 kilometres. What we're looking for in Kildare is 50,000. So I very much would implore you to use your office that option two would be uh, the preferred option from our point of view in Kildare. Down the line, we might look at new planning applications to try and deliver the overall Barrow Blue Way. But for now, let's prove that Kildare can be the success that it can be and give us every opportunity to have that economic development that is so Thank crucial you, for the south of our county. Minister, to conclude. Uh, to conclude, um, Ken Corley, as part of the evaluation of the above options, Waterways Ireland is exploring the availability of third-party funding for the Low Town uh, to Athai County Kildare section. It is anticipated that the evaluation of options will be completed in the coming months. Uh, and given the success of Blue Way projects to date and recognising the capacity, resource, seasonality and mobilisation constraints, and that this is a matter in the first instance for Waterways Ireland, it is my view that the body should now proceed to plan, schedule and resource those elements of the project for which planning is secure. So, Deputy, that is in effect uh, option two uh, of the options that I laid out to you. My department will continue to engage with Waterways Ireland in that end. Just to say to you that it is my desire that this goes ahead, um, as you have, have outlined yourself. Um, however, Waterways Ireland will ultimately make that decision themselves. Um, and I know that there's a Waterways Ireland monitoring committee meeting on the 9th of July. Um, but as I said myself, it is my desire that we can go ahead with the parts of the project that have planning permission um, and uh, go ahead with that, because I think some of the advantages that you've outlined in terms of tourism, uh, in terms of cafes, in terms of, of being, it being an exciting opportunity overall for, for Kildare, um, are, should be acknowledged. Um, and you know, even if we can't do all of the Barraway at the moment, we should certainly try and do those aspects and those parts that, as, as I said, have planning permission. Um, there are many Blue Way initiatives throughout the country. It's, you know, it's a, it's a multi-activity trail uh, uh, on or along the water, and it's defined by trailheads with readily available trail information and safe access points uh, to the recreational activity. And as you said, Deputy, they're not only recreational trails, but they link the physical activity with places to rest. They have refreshments, visit heritage sites and places of interest. They can browse the local arts and crafts and experience the local culture. So overall, as I said, Deputy, I thank you for raising this. I know how important it is to Kildare and, how, and your enthusiasm I acknowledge. Um, and as I said, my desire is that option two would go ahead uh, and we await the decision of Waterways Ireland on the 9th of July. Thank you, Minister.